Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Nick and in today's video we're going to create a Shopify custom announcement bar that sits over our nav bar. This is a great tool for announcing free shipping or promo codes, things like that to your customers. And we're going to do it with just a couple lines of HTML, CSS, and we're going to add an uh, animation to make it look a little smoother. And without further ado, let's get started. Now if we take a quick look at the theme customizer, and this is with the Dawn theme by the way, uh, you can see we have an announcement bar here. Um, we can hide or show this. And it's okay. It displays text and we can align it, but not really anything special going on here. And so we want to be able to just add a little bit prettier background and an animation, hopefully draw the attention to it more. So let's go into the code. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is create a section. So within the directory here in the theme editor, I'm going to open up a new section and I'm going to call it custom announcement banner dot liquid awesome and it's really just going to be a few lines so I will just type it out Okay, so what we've got going on here is this unique container, and the reason for the unique class name is because, I don't know if you've experienced this with Shopify development, but sometimes global styles will apply themselves to your custom sections, which is not what I want. So I'm just using this so that I can contain the CSS. And then um, this div is going to hold all of our content when we're going to show the headline, which is what you saw in the preview, and then the subheading is the part that's going to show below when we hover and it animates and, and it increases in size and then this right here we're going to add this conditional just on the off chance that you don't include a link text maybe you don't want that in your sub part and if so we're just going to not show it okay so now let's save this and uh, actually we need to edit the schema first before we'll even be able to see this so why don't we go down to the schema and I'm just going to add a few lines here Okay, and now we just need to add a presets here so that we can have this available in the customizer. Okay, cool. So now with this save, the schema is going to allow us to add some values here and we are looking for them here you can see we're supposed to show the head headline from below the subheading from below the linked text from below as well as the URL but we have not implemented that yet so if we save this and go to the customizer let's see what we get okay so I'm gonna click here and I can see it pop up and if I put this up here and let's try adding some values. Okay, so it looks like our data is showing up. It just looks really bad. So let's see what we can do to change that. If we navigate back to our code, and you can put this in a separate style sheet if you'd like, um, but I am going to just include it at the top here. And we're going to type out some CSS code.
Okay, so what I just did here thus far is add our container here, giving it a height and giving it a background um, with the linear gradient to kind of add this nice little effect of lighter to darker purple. And then we are adding the font family and color. And then in this addition info, which is the uh, sub part, we are actually hiding this to begin with. And when we hover, we're going to enable that text to show via an animation as well as increase the size so that it will fit. Okay, so now when we save and I come back, uh, you can see that it's not exactly working. Uh, the hover is not working as expected. Uh, so let me take a quick look at that. And after a little investigation, it was just a little typo missing the semicolon on the keyframes fade in. So if we go back now, we can see that it is working as expected. Shows the cursor, shows the subheading text. Um, maybe I'll change the subheading and heading so it looks a little better, but everything is working except if we click You can see nothing is happening So we also need to write a little bit of JavaScript code to hook this up. So let me go in and actually change my text first Okay, so let's go back to the code and let's write our little piece of JavaScript to hook this up. Okay, now if we give this a save, and refresh our preview link. We can see free shipping on orders over $40. Have this nice hover effect, and if I click, it does not work. Let's see why. And I'm actually just gonna come back here and add this. And now if I come back and refresh, we have this nice hover effect with it opening showing the lower text and we have our CTA as well that I can click on and voila we navigate to whatever URL we specified in the customizer so just to recap this is pretty simple HTML pretty simple JavaScript and schema liquid schema as well um, the main things I want to highlight about the animation is that this this unique container hover that's actually triggering these things. So we call our animation here, which is just setting this opacity to kind of appear, uh, fade in. And then um, we have, let's see, a transition set where the height will transform at 0.7 seconds as well. Uh, so we're using both transition and animation here. Uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and uh, feel free to comment with any questions or clarifications. I also have this in blog form in the description and I'll see you next time.